band, uh, winners of the International Blues Challenge several years back. That is Trampled Underfoot. A title track from their uh, a CD called Wrong Side of the Blues. Uh, that was released uh, back in a date so small on the back of the CD I can't read it. <laughs> okay. Uh, anyway, they will be appearing here in town on Friday, February the 22nd at Dan Electro's Guitar Bar. Of course, that's located at 1031 East 24th Street. Mark there on your calendar. Hot ticket, five-star show. You can tell them the Blues Hound told you about that. Good afternoon, folks. It is now 48 minutes after the hour of 2 o'clock. Of course, you're listening to 90.1 FM KPFT right here in beautiful Houston, Texas. And it's a real pleasure to uh, introduce a gentleman who has uh, come to the studio this afternoon to uh, share some wonderful information uh, uh, other than the bad news we've been sharing with you today. Mr. Clint Broussard is here in the house, and uh, we're really happy to have him. Uh, Clint was a a former programmer over at uh, uh, KTRU for over 13 years, ha- hosted a show called Blues and Hi-Fi that aired every Wednesday nights. And, uh, of course, um, k went by the wayside, And uh, but you live on, man. You're keeping the blues alive, man. How you doing, <laughs> you man? Too. Welcome I'm to the show. I'm great. Thank you so much for having me. Well, thanks for, uh, for coming down here this afternoon. Um, uh, we know we talked about uh, k uh, going under because of uh, uh, the... They yeah. just sold the frequency, I think. They still exist. Actually, they're, uh, I guess, in some form, they're uh, the secondary HD channel here at KPFT now. So the the studios still exist, but uh, the frequency got sold and changed over uh, formats to, I believe, U of H. It's been a while now. But, yes, sir. That, that's, that's um, but it's still, I'm sure the spirit's still there in the studio. But but even though you were airing an HD uh, KPFT, uh, you probably weren't reaching as many listeners as you'd like to. It was, so. it was a struggle. It was tough. So I mean, the good news is now that uh, well, there's been an opening here on KPFT, uh, one of the programs that was here on uh, on, um, on Monday evening, Uprising, uh, they ceased production and that opened up a time slot for you and uh, Blues and Hi-Fi is being resurrected and uh, it's good to have you as part of the KPFT family as programmers. I couldn't be uh, more excited about it. Um, I actually got the phone call the day after Christmas, so it was sort of a late Christmas gift, I guess. But uh, I had talked to, I had heard from everybody um, in and out over the, you know, it'd been about a year and a half since I'd been on. Um, and I'd talk to people from the, the station here, and they would say, well, we've got little openings here and there, but we're trying to find a, a slot. And it's, you know, a lot of the guys that are here, you guys have been doing this for a long time. So, um, plus with the, with the uh, national syndication and whatnot, it's tough to kind of find uh, time slots. So I was just fortunate enough that something came up. So um, I'm over the moon about it. So I'm really yeah, excited. Once again, we're very pleased to have you uh, as part of our, our lineup here on KPFT. Now, this is going to be airing on Monday nights. Monday nights, 6 o'clock p.m. Um, it's one hour for the time being. And um, I probably will say I probably get more out of an hour than almost anybody because I play so much old music. It's a lot of, it's a, a very vintage uh, throwback to old AM radio, I guess, the style. So I play a lot of songs that run about two minutes, two minutes, 30 seconds. So I probably get more bang for my buck than anybody else on plus all the songs back then were all right at two minutes long and, and right. the songs like i just finished playing is like six minutes long right, right, right. in those cases so and those are great too but it's it's i remember i saw fats domino one time and he must have done a hundred hit records in an hour i was like good lord how do you have that many songs but now let's talk a little bit about uh what your your, your musical content on blues and hi-fi there is your you you kind of target a very very unique Type of program, blues programming. Mm-hmm. Uh, you emphasize a lot on the uh, the music of the uh, uh, Gulf Coast and sure. Upper Gulf, Texas, Louisiana. Right. Well, being Cajun, and um, I grew up right on our side of the Louisiana border. Uh, my dad was a big record collector, and they grew up in an era where I guess I grew up in a small town. Um, my dad went to high school in Port Arthur, and all that so i guess the the 60s revolution wasn't really happening so much as they were really interested in all of the bands like uh the boogie kings and all these bands that were doing r&b and and soul and blues that were lots all the time yeah absolutely and they were they were more interested in dancing um so they would go over to louisiana and And see a big oaks club absolutely so that's what i grew up to um even being as young as i am i just heard it all and it was my dad had a huge stack of singles and my parents would dance in the kitchen and that was always the thing my brother and i were um, raised around it and plus in that area you had janice joplin and um jerry Lacroix and gene thomas all those guys that were from around houston all the way to new orleans and san antonio that kind of thing so um i grew up in and we used to Gavin listen Jean Bourgeois. he's great too he's from port arthur as he's well been on the show before, yeah. oh great man guy. he's fantastic um, but all those guys, it just seemed like I grew up around it. And I, the older I got, I noticed it wasn't being 
heard anywhere in town and i um just that was a lot of my record collection and at the same time things like guitar slim and um the blues guys that really influenced all that stuff so i was in a fortunate situation to have that music and share it with a with an audience i wanted to hear it and um yeah, I, I was fortunate that it took off but um at the same time i just don't hear it anywhere else so it's sort of and it uh, on top of that my grew up hearing uh the huey mo shows that he hosted here at kpft and wolfman jack and john art uh in nashville and all those guys i just i don't know how it, it just kind of happened i guess it was probably my family more than anything that i grew up around here i would just love to dig through your record collection i know you because <laughs> you have you have some some wonderful nuggets uh that that uh that your the listeners here at kpft are going to be uh really thrilled to hear uh being resurrected uh otherwise lost the sands of time but you're back on the air once again on Monday evening, 6 o'clock here on KPFT. So it's a great, great to have you. Let me ask you, uh, how are you doing uh, uh, health-wise? I know uh, you had a pretty nasty little uh, uh, car accident back. Was it, it was in 2011? Yep. Yes, sir. And um, uh, had a couple of benefits around town for you and everything. And yeah. You all healed it from that? I'm no great. Problems? Um, no problems at all. I had a plate and some screws put into my knee. But, well, arthritis um, will be showing up any day now. Well, I've noticed the weather every time it changes. But, um, <laughs> it does, but it's, Welcome to my world. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, but it's not, no pain, nothing like that. I'm totally back 100%. So, um, unfortunately, I'm able to work again. Um, but everything, you know, otherwise has been fine. It's... Um, it was it's strange coming back and having all these things you know kind of pop up again it's it's good to be back and um doing radio in houston anyway tell me about the spotlight 45 feature that you used to uh, mm -hmm. uh, have on the show are you, are you still going to be uh absolutely i did uh my first one this past week was blue monday which i thought would be kind of funny um i just do it because i'm a big um 45 nut i mean i love i love blues all the way around and i had this conversation with a couple of friends recently where they were saying because I'd mentioned blues to me was more about the song and maybe a, a track instead of necessarily an album, because albums seem to be so um, uh, more about a, a concept sometimes. Um, they can and be combo of styles, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and it's it's you know the the era that I seem to focus on, I guess, is mostly um, singles. So, and I have such a, a vast collection of original forty fives, and I guess it's sort of a prayer that there are a lot of record dorks like me that want to hear the catalog number. And the year something was recorded and who produced it and that kind of thing. So I just I'm it's, a dork. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, a I dork. am. I am. So I just think it's um, it's an homage to vinyl essentially because I love the sound of a record on the radio. It just sounds really warm and um, so I just I thought it was something that would add character to what I did. Uh, now, how many uh, 45s do you think you'd have in your Ooh. collection? Is it, have you ever sat down and... I don't know their catalog. Everything's alphabetized. And I would probably have to ask the friends that helped me move about four months ago that still aren't speaking to me. <laughs> probably, um, I probably have two or 3,000, I guess. Really? That's pretty crazy. Yeah. And, and LPs? You have more LPs than 45s? Or I don't know. It's probably... Pretty, 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 pretty mixed bag? Probably, yeah. Now, I know you have this sick obsession like I do mm -hmm. that if there is ever a flea market or a record store or a garage sale... You will if it takes you two hours to go through every record in there. Now, now I know because I had this. I had this addiction too. You do that, don't you? I definitely do. And you know, it's it's even it's even as bad as We're that. Sick. I'll do it with We're CDs because CDs are starting to go by the wayside because of downloading. Right, everything's so in the clouds I, now. Yeah, so it's like I I'll do it with CDs too. I because it doesn't. I mean, I love the vinyl format, but I like the idea of having something. And there's so much you can't find on vinyl, and there's a lot of things you can't find on CD. So. The thing is, I just want the music. There was something tangible where you could actually take a, a, an album and hold it in your hand and look at the, 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 the liner notes and read it a thousand times. Even though you'd read it, you'd still, every time the record was on, you'd find yourself inevitably with that album in your hand. It's true. Reading the back of that jacket. For and everybody downed CDs for that because the album artwork wasn't as big or whatever. And then now it's sort of like you don't even have album artwork because you're clicking a mouse and downloading something. So, I don't know. I guess the emphasis on album artwork and all that isn't as... It's not what it used to be anyway. Well, uh, we're once again, we're very, very happy to have you here, part of the KPFT family. And uh, the new show, once again, is called Blues and Hi-Fi, Monday evening, 6 to 7 here, right on uh, 90.1 FM KPFT. Um, we're really happy to... Uh, your, your unique uh, style of educating and entertaining at the same time, because we know your passion about the story behind the songs. Sure. You talked about UP Mo and Gold, Gold Star and Gold Band Records and Excello, all these old records that you do. You, you try to give a little snippet of uh, information when you play these songs. I do. I, I, I guess it's because I have, I used to laugh because I have such a big record collection. And if I'm, I guess doing radio gives me a, 
I guess it validates it in a way. Otherwise, it's just me and the neighbors. So um, <laughs> it's, it's kind of nice to be able to share it with somebody. It's like, you know, I, it's great to have it, but it's so nice to have an outlet to say, hey, you know, this is what I'm interested in. And it's so funny over the what, year and a half, two years I haven't been on that I've accumulated so much other, you know, music that I didn't play for the 13 year duration I was there. So um, that's exciting to, to come back and go, oh, wow, I haven't played these records before. So it should be fun. We urge everybody to tune in uh, Monday evening, six to seven for Blues and Hi-Fi with your uh, host, uh, Mr. Clint Broussard. Uh, now, Clint, there's a couple things that uh, we need to mention also um, that our listeners might want to uh, take part in. Sure, I've got, um, there are two events um, that popped up. Um, one of them is actually next Monday, a week from tomorrow, will be the third show. Um, so I'm calling it my third show after party. Um, I've, I've done a few things I've mentioned to some friends um, and in the Houston press that I, uh, there were a lot of businesses in town, bars and whatnot that, have, that are keeping local DJs, if they're, if, even if they don't have a radio show, sort of uh, valid and in the loop. Um, places like Leon's Lounge, uh, they do a, a Friday night DJ session. Uh, Poison Girl's really good about it. Um, one of the guys over there, Scott, that owns the bar, uh, worked with me at KTRU for probably the whole time I was there. They feature a DJ on Monday nights, and a lot of times it's like guys like uh, Mike Smith or someone who um, may just be a music writer in town. Um, so it's pretty neat. I, I kind of got into that fold, and it was I, I just applaud them for um, having DJs do that. So anyway, uh, long story short, I'll be there on... Uh, a week from tomorrow at 10 p.m. at Poison Girl. Um, Where's that located? It's at 1641 Westheimer. Um, and okay, they, right down the street here. It is right down the street, absolutely. Um, and they do something every Monday, so it's just going to be fun. I'll, I'll definitely re-mention it um, on the day of the, the show because I'll probably you know pack up records and then go straight down. The third there. show after party. I, I think this is just an excuse to go be drunk. <laughs> that is exactly <laughs> what it is. <laughs> I didn't want to be transparent, but I will. But some of our listeners can come out and actually meet you and talk about the music and everything yeah. and maybe make requests if you want to. Now, there's also something else coming on uh, in there. Yep. That's, and Cactus that's, Records, which you, uh, you work uh, part-time over there? I do work part-time over there. Um, those guys have been completely just supportive since day one. I've known Quinn for a long Quinn time. And the whole, nice guy. Nice, I mean, the, nice whole, the whole staff is just great. And um, and they, again, that was another place I would spend. They do a lot of uh, supporting DJs and whatnot. And um, I know, and I had been doing this Poison Girl thing. That's a night thing. So it's kind of tough for, um, you know, regular listeners of the show to get out late on a Monday night. So um, there'll be a thing at Cactus that Quinn's helped uh, put together. It's sort of a celebration of the show and kind of a comeback thing. Um, it's going to be Saturday, February 2nd, which will be Groundhog Day. And it starts at noon, runs till about 3 or 3.30. Um, they have a little side, if you're not familiar with the store, they have a little side room that's all uh, what they call the Record Ranch. So it's all vinyl, and um, that's definitely where I'll be. Um, spinning 45s and records and whatnot, and just kind of St. Arnold's gonna they, be there. They will be there. They're there every See, time. And there's always booze on here around for some reason. <laughs> there is. I, you're seeing a pattern with me. I right? love <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, but that will be great. It'll be. Uh, and then the on intervention the will be next week for you. I don't know. I hope not. <laughs> they, we may do it on a Monday at six. I don't even know at this point. Uh, Clint Bruce are one of our newest additions to KPFT Radio Blues and Hi-Fi Wednesday evenings. Excuse me, a Monday evening uh, uh, from 6 to 7 o'clock right here on 90.1 FM KPFT. Um, tell our listeners to tune in and, uh, and do the thing, man. Yeah, please do. Um, it's it's so overwhelming already, but in such a positive way. Um, the first week was uh, learning the board, and everybody at the, at the station here has just been... Everybody was supported before I even came over here, but everybody's been really great. The phones have been lighting up. Um, I'm on Twitter now, so if you want to uh, follow on Twitter, it's um, you can search at Blues and Hi-Fi. It's on there. We're on Facebook, and uh, same, Blues and Hi-Fi. And, um, and it's just really And you're going to teach me how to tweet. I will teach you how to tweet. I, I promise you, before I leave. Right. So if they hear dead air for like an hour, that's what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> Clint, thank you so much for taking time thank to, you so to, much to, for to come by me. this afternoon. I'd also like to thank uh, Melissa Noble for coming and taping this whole thing. So uh, I guess with that, that's a wrap. <laughs>